So what is organic chemistry? Organic chemistry is the study of the structure, composition, properties, reaction, and synthesis of carbon-containing compounds. Organic synthesis involves strategies for making compounds from readily available starting materials for more than one step. Do you ever think that what synthetic compounds will be used in bread making? Even during baking, what organic compounds will be produced from it? From this bread making video, we are going to show you how organic synthesis and chemistry occurs. For the first one, azodicarboamide acts as the dose strengthener. It's used to incorrect level to increase blood volume and improve cramp properties. It can be prepared in two steps via treatment with hydrogen to form biorea. The reaction is followed by the oxidation with chlorine or chromic acid used azodicarboamide. Calcium propionate acts as the food preservatives. Calcium propionate is the ideal preservative for bread. It has little effect on yeast and does not interfere with its fermentation. No calcium propionate is formed by neutralizing propionic acid with calcium hydroxide. I dream to make it happen. I dream to create. More and more, I dream just to get away. Azole dicarbamide oxidize free dio groups in flour protein to strengthen the dough. The main reaction product is urea, which is stable during baking. It also acts as bleaching agents to make bread whiter by reacting with carotene in the flour. And vanillin acts as the flavor enhancer. Vanillin acts as flavor enhancer to improve the taste of the baked bread. The synthesis of 4-hydroxybenzaldehyde involves the electrophilic brominations of 4-hydroxybenzaldehyde in two steps. 4-hydroxybenzaldehyde and copper catalyte methoxylation given the vanilla fragrance in step 1 Electrophilic aromatic substitutions occurs, which is brominations for 30 seconds only to give 3 bromo 4 hydroxy benzyl aldehyde. Then, the bromide ion is replaced with methoxy group OCH3 in the presence of copper catalyst that probably involves oxidative additions and reductive elimination. During bread making, the synthesis of bread aroma and flavor compounds such as 2-acetyl-1-pyrroline and 2-acetyl-1456-tetrahydropyridine involve multiple steps will be produced through Mellert reaction. It is a chemical reaction that produces acryl amide from reaction between sugars and amino groups. The Mellert products are diverse sensory active compounds which might essentially influence food quality attributes such as flavor, color, and texture. When bread is grilled to make toast, for example, this causes more acryl amide to be produced. The darker the color of the toast, the more acryl amide is present. The first step is the condensation of the carbonyl group of the reducing sugar with an amino group. This produces a skiff base and if the sugar is an aldose, the skiff base cyclizes to give an amine. The adocyl amine is then rearranged to give a 1,2-imnamino and its ketotoma and N substituted 1-amino to the oxyketose. These are known as Midori rearrangement products. These rearrangement products then undergo enolization, deamination, dehydration, and fragmentation, giving rise to products containing one or more carbonyl groups. These carbonyl compounds react with amino groups and other components, resulting in the formations of many different flavor compounds, while melanodins, which are brown nitrogenous polymers. 
the melanoidin have a good preventive effect on free radical induced diseases such as liver injury, atherosclerosis, colon cancer. In conclusion, food additives act as the product of organic synthesis plays important role in daily life. They act as natural and artificial flavors, preservatives, bleaching agents, and artificial colors to give different kinds of texture, appearance, or taste to food products.